Hi there, I'm Ben. I'm a paleontologist from Southern Australia and I'm fascinated by the world around us. And today we're going to be asking one of the most fundamental questions in paleontology today. Is the Megalodon still alive? <laughs> no. Why would it still be alive? It's such a stupid question. I just, oh, I just don't understand people. They're just so bloody stupid. Okay, let's get straight into it. So, one of the reasons why people think the Megalodon is still alive is because of the Science Channel and the Discovery Channel. In 2014, the docu-fiction Megalodon, The Monster Shark Lives was created on the Discovery Channel and it is a huge flaming pile of cow turds. It is one of the worst pseudo-scientific things I've ever seen in my entire adult life. But people watch that and they think it's real and then they ask the question, is the Megalodon still alive? So today we're going to be answering a number of questions. What the Megalodon is, when it died out, how it died out, and then we're going to be trying to answer these baseless pseudo-scientific claims from the Discovery Channel and the Science Channel. But first up, let's talk about the anatomy of this incredible shark. <laughs> this is a tooth that I found in the Lost World of Bayside. It's one of the largest teeth ever found on the continent of Australia. And one thing you might notice about it are the tiny little serrations running up and down the blade itself. Those serrations allowed the Megalodon to cope with rough mammalian prey. There is no doubt in my mind that the Megalodon fed on baleen whales when it was alive. It was arguably one of the largest predator-prey interaction of all time. But keep in mind, it was only eating small baleen whales. The Megalodon itself was approaching the size of a modern humpback whale, at least 15 meters in length, and they terrorized oceans for millions of years. So, when did it go extinct? The previous estimate for the extinction of the Megalodon was at about 2.6 million years of age at the turn of the Pleistocene. But a new paper by Bosonecker et al. in 2019 re-examined some of this material. They declared that the Megalodon went extinct between 3.2 and 3.51 million years of age, significantly older. What they found is that some of these older teeth were reworked into younger formations, fooling other paleontologists. This grand lineage of sharks had been around on the planet for almost 50 million years. So what killed off the Megalodon? <laughs> there are a number of reasons for the extinction of the Megalodon. There wasn't one gigantic This ball is crushed. Whack over the top of the head that led to the extinction of this animal. Travel back more than three and a half million years ago and you might start to see the reason as to why this animal went extinct. The earth itself was going through a prolonged period of glaciation. The Arctic was just beginning to freeze over and this created a number of geographical barriers, especially to its prey. Most small baleen whales that the Megalodon relied on for food went extinct throughout this period. Larger baleen whales with the ability to accumulate blubber on their body were able to survive these environmental fluctuations by going to the north and the south to areas which were too cold for the Megalodon. It's intriguing to note the appearance of another global predator at about 4 million years ago. One that tipped the scales in favour for extinction for the Megalodon. Great white sharks are one of the largest macro predatory fish in the ocean today. They get to about six meters in length and weigh about two metric tons. So what have they got to do with the disappearance of the Megalodon? They reached global supremacy at about four million years of age. And it's thought that more mature great white sharks actually knocked out a growth stage of the younger Megalodon itself. When you've got two animals competing for the same resources in the same ecological niche, something's gotta give. Goodbye. 
So now we know what the Megalodon is, how it went extinct, and when it went extinct. So why? 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 Do I still have to answer this bloody stupid asinine question of if the Megalodon is still alive? It's dead! The reason I still have to answer this stupid question is because of the Discovery Channel and the Science Channel, which is owned by the Discovery Corporation. They peddle out pseudo-scientific claims all the time. They're the group that is responsible for mermaids, the body found. I mean, if the Megalodon was still alive, we would have found at least one of its teeth, modern teeth, but we don't find that. Sharks go through tens of thousands of teeth in a given lifetime. We would have found the bloated carcasses of the food that they're feeding on, but we're not finding any evidence of this creature whatsoever. The Megalodon died out 3.2 million years ago, to our best estimates. It's not alive anymore. Ben out. Hi y'all, it's your boy Ben. Thanks for watching, like, subscribe, and if you have any questions, chuck them down below. Ben out.